Alright, what's up guys? Just getting over here in front of the TV. Hopefully today will be the uh, last day that I have to hop around so much. I'm going to the doctors and I'm hoping that he tells me I can start walking and start my physical therapy. Because you know, It's been six weeks now, I haven't been able to walk on my left foot. So hopefully that will change here. Um, and in due time too because, you know, all, all hobbies, you know, you need some diversification in your life. That's why people have hobbies to begin with. And, you know, my video games get kind of boring right now and that's kind of stressing me out. And, you know, I had not put a YouTube video up in like a week. I've just been kind of just sitting around and just really just sleeping a lot. Just trying to get the rest of my healing done. And I've just been kind of ill-motivated anyways. Uh, but, you know, hopefully I'll be able to start work soon and that'll be, uh, that'll be a little more relief too. So, in the meanwhile though, I pretty much got back to how I was playing my NES games right when I broke my foot and I couldn't move much and I would just like keep one game on and really work on it. And that game has been uh, Vice Project Doom. I believe J-Boy Pac-Man brought the name of this game up to me and either this or that one, but either a comment that he made uh, brought me to play this game, and I always thought this game had a setup like Mega Man, where you pick the levels, but I got that uh, confused with Power Blade. Um, but this game was great. It starts off with a car uh, type, shoot 'em up type level, then it goes into your platforming stages, um, and then the stages are kind of short. There's a lot of power up items around, but once you get to about level six or so, it gets a little, uh, a little bit more challenging. Uh, it's got a great storyline. The story, it's a game by Sammy, and the storyline kind of, uh, it's kind of like Ninja Gaiden, where, where the cutscenes will go across the top of the screen and whatnot. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. There's some great uh, detailed animations in this game. And one of the coolest things about uh, this game, I'll turn it on really fast here. Well, I can't show you what I want to show you because i got to get to the second level. Uh, but, uh, when you're running, you can actually like hold down and run, and you run in a crouching position. So it's almost like you you can duck and run in this game at the same time. Um, whereas you know Ninja Gaiden, you can climb the walls. Uh, you can't do that in this game, but uh, the, the ducking and running is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, and then when you actually just stand and push down, you go a couple more a uh, couple more spaces, a little bit lower. Not too much, but a little bit lower. Uh, but it makes it kind of interesting because some of the bosses um, will inter integrate like uh, things in their attacks where they'll be pushing stuff across the screen and they'll have to be ducking and stuff. So, you know, I've been having fun with that game. And, uh, you know, I, I put aside Duke Nukem and Alien Noir for a while. It kind of upsets me because I feel that I'm trapped in a day where, in a day and age of video games, where I have to pay, you know, $64 just to experience a game with everybody else when everybody else is playing it. And I think, I don't blame like uh, being in a community, like a video game community for that, but I do blame the fact that, uh, you know, these games go down to $20, $30 a week or two after they come out, or even well, three weeks maybe to a month. But, uh, you know, it's like, you know, do you really want to pay that extra $30 to have that game right away? I mean, I see a lot of people on YouTube, you know, they put up these videos right away of the unboxings. Uh, but at the same time, I probably hear about and, see, and hear about more people commenting on the fact that they do wait. Most people do wait. And, uh, I mean, with all the playthroughs nowadays, you don't really even have to buy a game right away uh, to, experience, I mean, to experience it. I mean, most of these games nowadays are story-based. So, to me, a lot of them just aren't fun to play. And that's... Um, so it brings me to my next uh, idea where, you know, you, you could pay $65, $64, dollars for one of these new games, play it right away, but, you know, are you having fun playing it? When I play, when I, you know, I want to play Catherine when it, by Atlas when it comes out uh, this week, I, did, I believe it's on the 26th or next Tuesday or whatever, and, but, you know, I played the demo, I played some of the gameplay of it, and I'm just, I'm not thrilled by the gameplay, but I really want to see the story. So, that's a game that, quite honestly, I'm probably going to watch somebody's playthrough online of it. I mean, because just the, the, like, the atmosphere of the game really makes me want to, like, get into it, but, you know, I'm going to feel the atmosphere of the game when I'm watching a playthrough anyways. 
I mean, the video games to me like this are all about reaction skill and, and jumping around and, you know, even uh, L.A. to War, that was really good gameplay interaction. I mean, they, you did a lot of stuff. You pushed a lot of buttons and you looked for things, you know, you fought. But some of these games, you know, it's like I just don't want to play them. I mean, I, uh, you know, I'd rather just, like, read the story. Like, I was really interested in Uncharted, but I still haven't even got that one yet. And, uh, I have a buddy who's going to let me borrow it, so if I borrow that soon. I've, you know, I've been really interested in the story of that game, and I heard the gameplay was good. So, but, I don't know, I just, it's hard, you know, thinking that I actually paid full price for L.A. Noir and Duke Nukem when I really just, I wasn't thrilled about the hype of the game, you know, I didn't talk to anybody about it, I talked a little bit on YouTube about it, but, uh, you know, and I, still, I still had fun with it, but, yeah, you know, it just didn't, uh, I don't know, I think, Basically what I'm getting at is I think I'm going to be starting to wait until games go down in price. Like I might, might pick up Catherine when it goes down to like 29 or 30 bucks. Uh, you know, so whatever. <laughs> I, this is the price of these games. I was just, it just struck me the other day because I was looking at the price uh, on the site where I buy PS3 games and just that, that price, that uh, $59.99, I, mean, I was just like, it just sunk in. I was like, that's a lot of money to be spending on a video game. I mean, it's just a lot of money. Um, if I pay full price for the 18 games I have up there, that's a lot of money. That's, you know, you know, that's, you know talking over $1,000 in just games that you could spend in a year just to have a, a good amount of games that come out. So I'm just watching what I spend on those games. And, you know, like I've been talking about earlier, I'm really just, I'm going after the NES games now. I just, I want to get my darn NES game collection done. And I want to just uh, move on to something else, you know. I'm enjoying it, but you know, there's other things I want to do, and I just, I just want to get this NES collecting done with. I, you know, I'm having fun collecting the stuff, but to me, it's like I just want the games there. I want to be around the games. I want to be able to grab any NES game I want out of my shelf and play it. But I am having fun collecting the stuff, but I don't know. That's part of me talking there is just to sit in here for five weeks or seven, six weeks now, seven weeks actually. And, you know, I just want to get out and do other stuff, but at the same time, I'm still checking the sites, you know, like trading games to see if there is that one game that's popping up that I need. But at least now, instead of ordering it, I can get in my car, I can drive down to, you know, Brian's or Jason's and uh, pick, up, pick up one of the games if I see it on, on their site or whatnot. So, you know, I'm still, get, I'm still collecting stuff, but it's just, I'm, I'm just going back to, I'm just working on, like, one game and stuff. And, and I try to limit the amount of time I play the games, which is kind of hard when I'm sitting at home all the time. So, but you know, I have been going out uh, and hanging out with my friend Cindy, and we go to the to the clothes store, or whatever, like Goodwill, and I found this Mega Man shirt, so it's got all the Mega Mans on there. That's pretty cool. I saw it; it was only six bucks, so. You know, we go there and she knows what the good kind of clothes are and she'll show me what the expensive t-shirts are, the name brands, whatever, and I'll buy them, which is fun, I guess. I don't have really uh, many clothes, so it's nice to go there. And now that I started seeing clothes like these, you know, I'm really excited. I did see a Mario shirt while I was there also, but I didn't pick that one up. Uh, it just didn't, didn't really appeal to me. So, yeah, well, that's about it. And, uh, you know, I'm at 1485 subs, so in about 15 more subs or so, I'm going to be having a little contest going on, so just look forward to that, guys. Um, I'm waiting on one package from a contest I won from a special YouTuber friend, and there'll be a surprise video when I get that package coming up. Some of you may know, some of you may not yet, but I'll leave it a surprise. And uh, so, yeah, so look forward to that. And, you know, other than that video, I've been thinking about doing a playthrough of Vice Project Doom and just chatting as I go because I liked how. I liked the learning curve on this game, I liked how things broke down, and I was, it was easily able just to see all the different patterns. And I liked the patterns in the game, how they make you uh, move the controller and stuff, which is kind of cool. So, uh, you know, look forward to e at least a review of uh, Vice Project Doom, if not a playthrough soon. So, yeah, alright guys, well, I'm going to hop over there and turn that camera off, so thanks for chilling. Peace!